it's a B175. Now we've got a two mil bead painted chartreuse. What we do is just put a bead on, small hole first, and round the bend to the eye, and then into the vise. There we go. Thread I'm going to be using. This is just a chartreuse, uh, eight oh in uni. Just simply start up at the top and put down a layer of thread along the shank. Now I'm going to come slightly around the bend. This will bring the tail in line with the body, so if I drop it slightly lower. Now this is the mink strip, this is the zonka strip. Um, all we do is cut, what well, I usually do is just cut a bit, around about three quarters of an inch in this size, and then look at the tail length I want. And this, I just tear off the fur, use this for the body and the thorax sit on your desk at this point and tie it in with the the, the base with the skin on it so we set it down here and low a couple of turns secure it on and I'm just going to make sure it's sitting it's at a level, just checking it's ok trim it the full length of the body As I say, make sure it's tied down. Now, the rib of the fly, I'm just going to use a, a uni floss and chartreuse. Lime green can be quite good, even orange, fluorescent orange. Now, I'll tie this in the way back down. Nice and tight. It's fine. And this is where mink fur. Just a matter of, the dub's easy, just mix it between your fingers. Dub onto your thread. And slide it up. And then just make a nice, don't make it too heavy. Nice body, tape on some way. Just tighten up when you need to. And there. Bring your excess, keep that for your thorax, and then we'll rib. Now I like to tighten the floss up by just twisting it more into a tighter rope. And don't be shy when you're rubbing the fly. See that last turn, just want to tighten up a wee bit more. Get it to sit right. That's okay. Come slide up into the side of the hook, bring the thread with it, and tie it down. Trim away. Got a little wax on my thread at this point, just so I can tidy up that area. I'm going to put a thorax cover on this and I'm just going to use, you can either use Pearl or which I'm going to use here is this Opal Mirage. I'm just going to use the large. Just catch it on the top. Just slightly come over your body so that you get it in the right position, right point. And again, tidy up. Now, Tiny bit more dubbing. I mean, you'll catch with this fly in the small still waters, you'll catch right through the season with these. And then we tie in, this is a, it's a partridge skin, and it's dyed lime green. All we do is remove the fluff from the bottom. I'll break it away like I did there. They say they're not the best, but the fibres are okay for the hackles, for the legs. And what I do is just separate an equal amount. Hold that, and then you can break the tip off. And then you can tie them in his legs, either side. So just 
get the length you would like. Just hold it on the side. And come down with a couple of loose turns or so, just to position the, the fibres. Just check the length that you like, and there you go. So you've got that nice split of fibre. Okay, and you can tighten up some of the excess. Again, I'll put a wee bit of wax on my thread. Get some more of the dubbing. Again, slide it up. Just up against the, the legs. Just watch you don't catch too many of them. And do it. Just pull down some of the dubbing out of the way. Bring your mirage over. Nice and tight. Just pull it down. Just a wee flash point. I mean, just to catch the hopefully catch the fish's eye. Now a couple of turns. So just to make sure it's caught in, you can fold it back. And dubbing, still some dubbing there, so just wind that on. Trim away the mirage. See if things are look, that's fine. The best way to sort of finish off is to either put varnish and or super glue in this case. This is Loctite super glue. Do a couple of turns and then what finish. Tighten up. And there we are. This is just a basic damsel. A uh, mink tailed damsel. Works it really well. So it's moistened a wee bit and you get a nice shape in your fly. A bit of movement. Now I like to fish them along the margins and just in between the weed beds. And the fish do like to have a go at them. And uh, you could highlight the thorax a wee bit with a bit of resin. I mean, you could get a bit of heavy resin here, a regular. I can just highlight the the mirage. That's like a small bead then you put this on, so just set it on the top. Spread slightly over the eye. Just, just watch what you're doing. And we'll over the bead, so right towards the eye. Just give it a second to settle. And then just get your torch. Set your resin. And you can see how fluorescent the bead is in the rub. It's really bright. And then I always like to put a really thin coat of varnish over the top. 